just tuned in to the Tiger Toledo Show. Remember that shit I gave you last week, nigga? It's nothing, nigga. It's nothing. It's nothing, nigga. It's nothing. This shit right here, nigga. Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales marketing hitman. Your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best, you heard? So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm hype. I just got off a discovery call with the homie out there in Texas. Shout out to the, my man, Ian. You know what I mean? Um, spent a little time with him. Tried to, I, I gave him real game. I gave the brother real game. I told him what was the deal about this notary industry. You know, he's a brother. I'm going to take a little more time with the brother. You know what I mean? Like somebody, you know, like how I would want somebody to take their time with me and put me on the game. And shame on you notaries out there that are being so selfish that you don't want to share information with new bees that are coming into the game. Shame on you for that, man. That's foul. That's foul. You guys been in the game for a long time. You already know how to do it. You don't even throw a little a, a, a milk bone to cats anymore. You 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 giving them the Chicago send off. You sending them off. I I'm not even mad if you create a course to sell your information, but the fact that you you didn't even do that. You didn't even take the time out to build a course out to sell your information. You just decide to be a crab and not give out anything. Because you have a scarcity mindset. You, you think that there's not enough business out here. You know why? Because you're chasing after title and escrow companies and they're feeding you. And you're like, if more notaries come and, and, and knock on the doors of these title and escrow companies, I'm going to get booted out. If that's the case, if that's how you feel, you need to be out there getting more business then from different companies. And with that said, I want to play my man Dame Dash real quick. for yourself period and i'm not working harder for anybody than they work for themselves so you have to deal with the things you don't like just because you don't want to doesn't mean that you have that luxury until you have that luxury if you have a dream you have to do every single thing it takes when i was putting jay-z out i had to jump on that stage with him because the show was whack he had no hit record so i had to do every single thing i had to be the hype man i had to be the businessman i had to go collect the money i had to go make the deals i had to go find the distribution you got to be built for this you know what i would say pull your skirt up that's what i would say you know this ain't for what you want stop being so spoiled and entitled you don't have mm. that option life mm. is a test your test is to do the things you don't like that's what the test is no one's going to give you anything and i'm not your father or your mother what i'm saying is stop complaining pull your skirt up no one's gonna word pull your skirt up b i felt that message right there man because these cats acting real, real soft nowadays. There's a lot of men out here that are acting real soft. You, 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 you lost your hunger, man. You're not hungry anymore. You got real comfortable, real passive, and and. The, the, the real lions and tigers and bears that are in this wilderness, they out here and they're killing shit. And you're at home complaining why shit ain't going your way. You got to stop that, man. You got to stop that. You got to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You got to stop that talk, that negative talk like, oh, you know, all the, uh, that's just my luck. The fucking dark cloud. You're like the dark cloud that walks into every room and shit and the fucking rain just follows that person. Get back out there, man. Get, reach down back in, and get your testicular fortitude back. 
and go out here and kill This is ridiculous. I only want to deal with generals at this point, man. I, I'm, I'm. People call me the ditty of the notary industry because you know I, I have a flair of making events exciting. Because I worked in the music industry, that just that's just what it is. I I know that side of things, right? I can make events look exciting, but at the end of the day. I picked Dame Dash over Diddy all day. He could be the most hated man. I love his principles. I love the way he does business because he has always taken the, bo the boss road. Always. He always tried to empower others. There was no other label that allowed or empowered their artists to become their own bosses and bring other people on. Dame Dash was able to do that. So that's why I rock with that brother like that, man. And he he has he had no chill. He has no chill, no pause button. He's gonna give it to you raw and uncut until he's done. A lot going on in, 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 in the world today. Inflation is going up, right? Inflation is going up. Uh, they're laying people off in droves. They're not laying people like 100 people off here, 200 people off here. No, they're laying people off in the thousands, tens of thousands, Tens of thousands, man, like 11,000 been laid off over here. 15,000. Facebook just laid off like 12,000 people. People are out of a job. And people are looking, uh, th this will be forever. People will always look to, to build their own business, to, to own the, control their own destiny. But one thing I need you guys to stop doing is stop seeking advice from people that have no skin in the game. You're asking Nana what she thinks about your logo. Nana never designed a logo before. Why are you asking Nana? You asking your best friend, what does he think about your website design? He's never designed a website in his life. You're asking someone that has no business experience whatsoever, no failures, no nothing when it comes to business, and you're asking them for advice. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? And you want to know why you're spinning your wheels in the mud. My good friend Donnie Bryant and mentor, my sales copy mentor and friend Donnie Bryant said this awesome saying, when you hire the best, you only cry once. And you know what you're crying about? You're crying about the price because the price is high. They value their own time. But you only got to cry once because the price is high. But you won't cry anymore. Because you got to get the information and the knowledge and the strategies that you need to be effective at what you do. Now, go ahead and say, well, my budget can only afford to get this raggedy ass mentor coach. I know they don't have a strong track record. I know their resume is really, really tarnished and blemished, but I only have a couple of hundred dollars to spend on this mentor. And then you want to know why your business is just like belly up, like a dead whale in the water. Why you're not seeing any traction, no progress whatsoever. You're on a treadmill going nowhere. Huh? Is this thing on? I can speak on that because I've been there. I was that dude. I was the one shortchanging myself. 
I was shortchanging myself and I was looking for the easiest, cheapest way to get something done so I can make the most amount of money. Terrible philosophy. Have no idea where I got that philosophy from. I don't know how long it harmed me. But I tell you one thing, it started when I started paying good money for people that had a strong track record. I can even tell you where it started. It started from Dr. Boyce Watkins. I said, this guy has a PhD. He taught at Syracuse University. He is for black people and he's teaching us how to buy stocks. Let me purchase this course, purchase this course. Best money I've ever spent, even to this day. To this day! Still holds true because let me tell you how good that course was. Immediately, I started buying stocks. And then a week later, I taught my seven-year-old daughter how to purchase stocks. Now all of my kids know how to buy stocks, except for the four-year-old. And I'm gonna get started with him really soon. Then, by, just by me being the, in the proximity of Dr. Boyce Watkins, he introduced two people that would change my life forever. I, well, you know what? He introduced two new people who also introduced me to a group of new people that would change my life forever. That's why you gotta get in the proximity of people with skin in the game. Proximity. He introduced Andre Hatchett, who is my notary mentor, coach, and friend now, hmm? who brought me into this game and he brought me into this game right. And then the other person that he brought in was Lamar Tyler, who has just graced uh, Black Enterprise Digital Cover. You can actually look it up. Uh, February issue 2023, him and his beautiful wife, Ronnie, is on the cover of Black Enterprise Magazine. These are the people that you want to be around. These are the people that you want to be around. And through... Lamar Tyler, I met Donnie Bryant, who was the, just the Jay-Z of sales copy. Dude, it, it's, it's like nonstop, and it, and it just grows. It swells. It grows even more. It becomes more lucrative. You, you start having, you, not to say that you ain't going to have problems, but you start to have different problems. You start to have problems of an entrepreneur. These are good problems. I like these problems. I didn't like those problems I was having when I was poor, broke. And then living in the ghetto, eating ramen noodles. I wasn't feeling that right there. I didn't like that, you know, the, getting eviction notices at the door, not knowing if my key would actually be able to turn the lock so I can get a good night's sleep. That shit is scary. That shit is frightening. It's, it's, it's terrifying, man. Not knowing if you're going to be homeless the next day. I've been there. Most frightening shit ever. My record ain't squeaky clean. Had a couple of run-ins with the law or whatever. But if you were to look at it and looked at what my company was, yeah, it makes sense why I went through that. It made sense why I went through the judicial system. Because of the company I kept. Facts. Couple of quick announcements. Marketing Secrets, February 21st. Notary Agency Secrets Masterclass. We're doing that March 28th. The Power of Attorney Masterclass, the number one masterclass for notary entrepreneurs, notary professionals. It's gonna be April 4th. Get your tickets now. 
I'm doing I close deals with my brother from another mother, actually from the same mother, the motherland, Tekamaku. On February 20th, we are going to teach you how to close deals. We're going to teach you how to close deals. No, we're not going to teach you how to notarize I-9 forms. We're not going to go over non-disclosure statements on the damn loan docs. We're going to teach you how to cash flow your business. How to get this bread. When a person calls you, you close that deal. I close deals February 20th. And we're doing a lock-in party with my girl Dawn Velez out there in Orlando, Florida, March 11th. And then my latest, my newest book, The 21 Commandments of Influence, will be released on my mom's birthday, May 11th. You can buy that on Amazon. And most likely it's going to be on Barnes & Noble and a whole bunch of other platforms. I'm trying to be the Sosa of books, baby. I'm distributing books like Sosa was distributing cocaine. You know what this business of the notary business is really made up of? Marketing and sales. That's it. I flipped it, rubbed it down, all that. I looked at this notary industry in many different ways. I've released books in this industry. I've taught notaries in this industry. I've taught notary coaches in this industry. I've created courses in this industry. I've created master classes in this industry. And it always came down to two things, man. Marketing and sales. The marketing part came, you have to have the you have to have the ability to drive traffic to whatever product or services you have. Now, once you drive that traffic, you better be able to close those deals. Anytime my business started hemorrhaging blood, money, blood, Right, It just was taking a punch in the face and a stab in the gut. Every time my business took a gunshot to the leg, I can always pin it back to those two things. Marketing and sales. It was never administrative. It was never that I couldn't notarize certain type of documents. It was never operations. It wasn't even the structure of my business, the business formation. It was never that. It was like, can you get clients or inquiries? And once you get these inquiries, can you close the deal? It didn't matter if these people were buying a one-off or I was selling them a package or it was a membership. It always came down to those two. Trying to drop some heat for you guys, man. I hope y'all appreciate it. And with that said, I wish you, your family, the very best. Peace, love, and happiness. Let's get this money, man. Peace.